coming at you live from from New Jersey to Highway 35, mile marker 42. This is Let's Play Click Quest. I'm Dave. You may call me Modem Joe. Welcome to my newest little project. Uh, I guarantee you, folks, this will be a long one. This will be a long and I hope you will have as much fun as I am too. Uh, so yeah, Click Quest, that's the name of the game. It's a very simple browser-based game. Uh, there's, yeah, it, there's multiple people on it at any one time, so in a way, it's kind of an MMO. And, uh, yeah, and honestly, the I guess that is the easiest way to describe it. It's a, it is the rawest, dis, most distilled version of an MMORPG. It is just the most bare bones thing you can get and it, it I can guarantee you any computer can play this and you will ha and you will probably have a blast too and uh, actually a couple of fun people have uh, made some fun videos on it. so uh, all right uh, let's get started we have to, to choose a color to begin with uh, so uh, I'm gonna choose uh, orange orange is my favorite color and the or the colors have some kind of relevance I'm not quite sure exactly what it is but uh, uh, apparently, uh, certain colors can do certain things, or at least uh, that's what the dev hasn't planned. It's the game is still pretty. The game has recently been made open sourced, and uh, because, well, actually, some people actually got to max level. So, uh, but uh, yeah, the game's very simple. You pretty much just click. It, like I said, it is an MMO in the most raw, distilled form. It is. Uh, I actually like that the dev made this open source, though. I mean, uh, there's not many open source MMORPGs out there. And honestly, I, I, don't, I mean, you see, hear all these stories about MMORPGs just uh, falling over flat, and it's, um, it's really kind of sad, honestly. You know, I mean, you keep hearing, it's just, it, they've, they're multi-million dollar investments, and they all try to copy WoW, and it never works in the end. It's just, it's a little sad, honestly, but, uh, you know, it could happen. One of these days, uh, someone could make a decent uh, MMO. I'm just, I'm just thinking most of the, if most of the cost is uh, someone, uh, I'm just, no, I, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, if most of the cost was uh, someone, I don't, if was, well, the development staff, if you made it open source, anyone could, dev could uh, throw out a patch and, and uh, things just get a lot, a lot more easier. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's uh, all the, all the relevant stuff that you need to, if you want to learn how to play, is on the side. Uh, you can actually level up. Once you hit a certain level, you can actually uh, make some changes. And this is pretty much how far you need to get for each uh, level. As you can see, it gets uh, really hectic near the end. And uh, I'm kind of surprised there's only me and one other person on. So uh, the chat room's going to be gonna be quite uh, dead. But uh, as we can see, we have quite a few... Uh, oh, huh. I know there are level 100s on here. But uh, whatever. Uh, yes, but... Uh, oh, click. There's actually a cap. And <laughs> Okay, but uh, let's keep going, folks. We, there's not much else to do except grind our way to the top. So... I used to play a lot of MMORPGs back in the day, honestly, though. Um, like, well, not many. I played all of uh, two, uh, three if you count the one Korean one that I never really understood. Uh, first one was RuneScape. I'm pretty sure everyone started with RuneScape. Uh, you know how it is, folks. Uh, I, well, actually, no. Uh, it was an interesting story. Uh, a friend of mine, a close, dear friend of mine, uh, moved away one day, and uh, he... He used to live in here in Jersey with me, and now he and now he lives in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia. That hellhole. No, he doesn't actually live in Philly. He lives in a nice place. But uh, anyway, the main thing that uh, happened was uh, we almost lost touch. Uh, he would come down every now and then, like for sleepovers. It it was it was nice, but in the end, never kind of worked. But uh, yeah, th but eventually he. I guess to facilitate us communicating in some way, uh, our, my good friend, uh, let's call him uh, Chase Bellaran. Yeah, uh, I, can you tell I play too much Mavis Gathering? So uh, Chase, he tells me about this game, Runes. We're talking over AIM. <laughs> this was way back in the day. And he tells me about this game, RuneScape, and I get in and, you know, I have a blast at first, and 
eventually I just find myself farming coal for money and that, that just got dull and I quit there. My next uh, MMO experience was actually uh, it was actually City of Heroes and I had a ball with that. I actually got like a, I joined up with a good uh, super group. That's what they call guilds in City of Heroes. Obviously guild found, sounds too fantasy for them so they had to come up with their own term but uh, yeah I joined a good super group early on and it just became such a hoot. Uh, eventually the super group kind of uh, stagnated though so uh, so yeah, there's all that, and you know it. I do, I do still go back to City of Heroes every now and then, though, just for fun, just to, uh, just so I can kind of, uh, I don't know, folks, I don't know. It, it's a nice reminiscence, and uh, the latest expansion actually is pretty fun. But uh, you know, without people to play with, it's kind of dull. And I guess that's MMOs in general. You kind of need a social, inter some social interaction. Oh yeah, folks, uh, quick uh, post-commentary note. I don't know why I suddenly became so quiet. I guess I game became very focused on this game. Uh, that does tend to happen a lot when I do live commentary, which I guess is the reason why my next LP is going to be mostly post. But um, uh, uh, the, re uh, the reason that uh, if you're not hearing any in-game sound, well, that is entirely my fault. I uh, completely screwed up. I... Uh, I forgot to hit record on Audacity, which is how I typically do things when I'm using Camp Studio to record. I, uh, I hit, I have Audacity record the in-game audio, and I have, uh, have Cam Studio record my voice and, uh, and the video. So, uh, and since I'm stupid and I don't buy a muffer for my, uh, for my headset microphone, that means I can actually hear the a little bit of the in-game audio through the th coming in through the speakers into my microphone. So that is a little little behind, little inside baseball for you, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, and I, I'll be honest, that actually makes editing a little bit easier for me. For me, just saying. Huh? What? Did I doze off? I'm sorry. Uh, I completely. Uh, sometimes I lose myself playing this game, folks. It's. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, it's, a, uh, you know, you know, folks, I might actually go oh, and do this all the way up to, uh, level 100 or something, <laughs> you never know, this might be, uh, this might be one of the more interesting thing. this is probably one of the more interesting things I've ever done a Let's Play for, I'll say that much, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, hmm, I'm trying to think, I actually had, like, a good script planned out, but, uh, honestly, I, uh, I don't remember any of it right now. I actually, uh, but yeah, like I said, folks, uh, different colors too apparently have uh, different abilities. He, at least that's what he was. The dev was planning anyway. I'm sure there's something about it in the change log. Uh, but uh, the fun thing about this is that uh, I don't know what actually came first. I think someone actually. Uh, I believe this was actually just a made-up game at one point. Uh, someone, like uh, this uh, Canadian comedy troupe, was doing like uh, some YouTube shorts, and they they came up with this uh, silly idea for a game, and they joked about it in a video, and then one of their fans actually went and made the game. Of course, uh, at the same time, though, this game can get a little laggy. Um, the server for or this game it doubles as a Minecraft server, and I don't know if you know this, but Minecraft servers are really huge memory hogs. They consume a lot of resources. Um, there's a uh, one server that I play Team Fortress 2 on, uh, Fan Gamer. Uh, their their TF2 server doubles as a Minecraft server, and that just kills the server. It's painful. I, I, I rarely go on there anymore, honestly. To be honest, I haven't played a TF2 in a while. I probably should. Especially since they had those hats to for Japan relief. Uh, I should probably buy one of those. I mean, you know, the Japan just went to hell, folks. and just, They deserve some goodwill. And if only I wasn't a poor, unemployed college student playing uh, free-to-play MMOs on my uh, computer. Uh, well... Not much you can do about that, no sir, but uh, it's, other than that, though, uh, I don't know what else to do. My uh, my income isn't exactly letting me play anything else. Oh, anyway, folks, um, 
want to well i think it's about time that we wrap this up folks i'm about to hit uh, about to hit level 10 so uh i think we can uh, call this one if you like what you saw stay tuned i will be doing a lot more of these click quick videos in the video until then i'm dave and may you not look like a fool Woo! level 10 see you next time ladies and gents uh